Are you not jealous of my flag? I'm gonna find all the shortcuts. Mm. I like the doggo. That's cool. What's your flag look like? I got a cool one. How do I get a cool flag? Mm. Personality. Title? How do you set a title? I guess you can't? I don't know. So you got some different banners? I like that one. That one's cool. Oh, they're locked. Okay. So let's go with that then. We got colors. Like a green. Do that. That works. Mm. Yes, I think that's all we can do for that. Emits. How do you open up emotes? Thumbs up. <laughs> that one's funny. The end of hunt. Again, we don't really have anything at the moment, but so we have all the different weapon classes. We don't have any new weapons yet. We probably have to um, get further in the game before they'll let us. Mm. And dire clothing. I like the gold. The gold's pretty. What about that? Yeah. And we got the other. Whoops. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. I like being able to change the colors. Oh, look how nice we look now. We can't do anything with our sword either. Um. Oh, okay. We gotta get further. So, left mouse is a light attack, right mouse is a heavy attack. Overdrive is Q, and Aether Draft, Aether Dash is Q. Alright, well, I guess we'll go talk to Kat. 
time is going to come when I have to take off back so soon. Yes, I am. Glad to see you, Rook. I appreciate the save, and I won't mince words. You're ready to strike out on your own. The ship is yours. Consider it a thank you for saving my life. And I need to remain here to coordinate the training of all these new recruits anyways. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you also need better protection. I've told Moira at the Hegsketter Smithy to expect you. It's time you learned how to turn the power of behemoths against them. Stretch your legs a bit and take the fight back to the behemoths. We'll talk again soon. Okay, well I missed part of it. Graduation day. Speak to Kat about the new weapon she's got for you and then speak to the armor smith to learn about forging armor with behemoth trophies. Okay. Become a master slayer. The mastery system is filled with objectives for slayers to complete as they hone their skills with different weaponry and hunt the behemoths of the Shattered Isles. Access mystery by mastery by pressing escape and selecting mystery. Why am I saying ma mystery? Mastery. As you gain mastery, your slayer level will also increase. And as your slayer level increases, so will your effectiveness with increased health, stamina, and various perks. So this is kind of different from Monster Hunter. In Monster Hunter, you don't really have, like, levels levels. The whole game is basically you killing monsters, farming materials, and making better weapons and armor. You don't really so much level up and get an overall boost to your stats. It's all your armor. So technically, you are as strong as you were at the beginning of the game, but your armor and your weapons make you stronger. And you have to work towards those, not like a level up. Now you have like your hunter rank, which is like for online and the types of quests you take, which are harder. But that's not really like your strength so much, if you know what I mean. Give them help. All right. So another difference I noticed between this and Monster Hunter is everyone actually runs around the main world, like the main hub area. In Monster Hunter World, they have the main hub, but then they also have like a separate gathering hub where um, people play online together, which is kind of nonsense because, you know, like the whole game is about like everyone being a hunter in the fifth fleet. But then you can't actually see the other hunters around the hub world, so it's a little bit annoying. But whatever, what is this? Oh. So you just pick these up and you get like hunt pass items? That's okay. Oh my gosh, there are dogs everywhere, it's great. Why hello? Pet all the dogs. We just leap up on that table, why don't you? Woo! Well, I can't go in the buildings. Got all the sheeps. Now okay, so this. Promise. The blacksmith? Oh, hey, Slayer! Okay. Um, to smith and protect. Just do this thing for me. Okay. Well, look what the Nasher dragged in. I told you not to get tooth marks on your armor. But hey, good to see you. From what Cat tells me, you're ready to start in on the good stuff. Armor forged from behemoth trophies. What some slayers like to call break parts. You won't last long without something to protect that nifty noggin of yours, but I can use the bits and pieces you picked up from that lesser behemoth to make you a brand new helm. Well, I say helm, but this one's more of a really sturdy armored hat. Warm, too. Okay. The artisans of Ramsgate can use the parts and items you find to craft all manner of weapons, tools, lanterns, and consumables for you to use on your hunts. When you use the crafting interface, you will see the items that can be crafted and whether or not you have the necessary components to make or upgrade them. You can also upquit new gear here, saving you a trip to the loadout screen. Alright. Crafting. 
So we can make a Nasher cap. And then, similarly to Monster Hunter, all of the armor and weapons and stuff have abilities. So Bloodless reduces duration of wounded status by 50%. So it doesn't seem like a bad thing. Let's make it. Did I make it? Oh, I have to hold it. <laughs> okay. So I can make the whole Nasher armor set, I think. So an equipment loadout. Access the main menu, escape, and select loadout to ensure you have the most appropriate armor, weapons, lantern, and supplies on every hunt. Simply activate the category of gear you wish to equip and you will see the options available. Okay. We just went through the trouble of dying all that armor. Uh, whatever. So I got that. That looks cool. I gotta dye it though. I like that. Oh, so we can't change like the the blue. That's fine. Um Oh, we got a cap. Oh, the cap doesn't look so good. <laughs> it's ugly. Uh, we'll always hide it. Because it looks really dumb. We don't really need to color it because we won't see it. Look at our fancy new armor. Now is that... Oh, uh, that must be the weapons guy. <laughs> Wills is at your service. Greeting, Slayer. <laughs> Time to put my weapons to good use. Okay. Recruit, a pleasure to see you. Wills has told you are ready to leave their training weapons behind and forge something new. I too wish to forge new designs, never before seen in the Shattered Isles. To meld Austin quality with the inherent powers of behemoths themselves. My latest schematics would imbue a fierce Austin weapon with essence of the blaze eating behemoth the slayers call a lesser ember main. Slay this fiery beast and bring any trophies to me. Wills shall forge you a weapon that will cause your foes to melt in fear. Visit the hunt board in Ramsgate to find new hunts and chart your course in the Shattered Isles. You can also access the hunt board by pressing escape and select the map to launch hunts from anywhere in Ramsgate. Okay. Weapon cards unlocked. Okay. Wheels awaits your words. So what can I craft? I want to try these. So I need Rage Tooth and Sharpen Slapper. So I probably have to fight more Nashers. Can I just equip it? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Let's try these. They look like fun. We gotta collect these flag things too. I don't really know what they do. Let's go to the quest board. Pursuit. Um. Okay, well I guess I'm going. Let's go. Um. The 
this next nut is nothing to take lightly. I'll stay on the horn in case you need any timely advice. All right, Ramsgate Residence Weaponsmith Wills Borman has mastered the art of forging melee weapons using trophies taken from slain behemoths. Every weapon has a different advantage in combat. Some deal even elemental damage that may be stronger or weaker against certain behemoths. So again, it's just a lot of stuff that's similar to Monster Hunter. Um, Do this little thing for Wills. Okay. Okay. Crafting. saw this through my friend forging with blaze in astia it is said that not one is not truly a slayer until one wields a weapon forged from the very behemoths one hunts yes it is said in ramsgate too but it was said in ostia first 
This is only one example of what wills can forge with the trophies you provide. Together, my friend, we will prove to the people of Ramsgate that Orstein is truly without equal. Alright. I wonder if we can change the color of weapons. That'd be cool. All right. Let's get slaying. Prove to Cat Sorrel that you can handle the many responsibilities of a slayer. Achieve Slayer level three. Hunt a lesser Drask. Hunt lesser Boreas. Complete the middleman's quest. Man in the middle. Complete the middleman's quest. Okay. All right. Well, you won't survive in the Maelstrom with that equipment, but you're more than ready to head back to the sheltered frontier and tackle new challenges. I've got some guidance about where to focus your efforts, but you can determine how to accomplish these goals yourself. You've proven you can handle behemoths that feed on elemental ether, so I think that's your next, log your next logical step. Build your mastery of, by hunting a shock-feeding lesser Dresk and a frost-powered lesser Boris. Boreas. You should also talk to the boson about some useful supplies and definitely pay a visit to the middleman. Okay. Cool, that weapon looks cool. Anyone else smell burning Nasher fur? No?